Hello everyone, it's the disc here from Games, Brains and a Headbanging Life, www.gbhbl.com. Today we're taking a look at the Annabelle 2 or Annabelle Creation trailer which came out a few months ago. It's a bit old one but I wanted to touch upon this because these are the horror movies. These are the types of horror movies that I despise the most. Your paranormal activity style jump scare -thons. and there are a lot of them nowadays. They seem to be what popular audience cinema goers enjoy. Uh, you constantly see clips of these movies of green screens and people green screens, excuse me, and people jumping and so on. I, I guess each to our own. If you enjoy that, and that's your idea of fear and being scared in a horror, good for you. It's not for me. The first Annabelle movie was a terrible, terrible film. You can check that review out on the site. It was done a couple of years ago. Annabelle as a story worked in The Conjuring, like a little bit part. It, it, it was nice. It played around. It wasn't like. It wasn't focused on it, but it was there, and you, you saw a couple of hints towards it. Having an own, its own movie, there's the problem. It was dragged out and stretched, and the fact we're now getting a sequel, although it's a prequel, not a sequel, a prequel does not sit well with me at all. But we're going to check out the trailer. I might be wrong. I might be. It might be a tense, narrative-driven, interesting horror, but I doubt that very much. So let's check it out. Okay, so we're look, talking about the creation of the door. There we go. <laughs> Official trailer. So this is our new orphanage? Kids. It's kids. Because no, no horror movie can exist without children being scared. Feel free to use the houses you see fit. Mrs. Mullins and I stay down here. Orphanage. Your rooms are upstairs. Girls' orphanage, fair enough. Locked. It stays in that place. Ooh, what's in the room, I wonder? Oh, fuck this, man. Are you kidding me? Hello? You're a monster, aren't you? Will you help me? Wait for it. Jump scare coming. This shit is predictable. Good God, that is predictable. She says she's seen your daughter. My daughter has been dead for a very long time. Well, there's a great reference point. Early age. <laughs> she ran in front of the car. Afraid to see our beloved girl again. The contact started small. But then it wanted permission to move into a doll so that it could be with us forever. Right. We said yes. And now it's evil? <sighs> Jump scare. Hmm. Your sister is coming after me. Oh, I, I feel pretty prepared. It's because I can't. Yes. It's the doll. The devil. This is a front. <gasps> seen it all before. We've seen this shit. It's been done. Why do you continue to do the same shit over and over again? I forgot that. Is, oh. Should we be <sighs> I'm actually more disappointed after watching it. It's even less a surprise. Nothing. It's the same shit over and over again. That, I know they're saying, hey, Conjuring Universe and all that, but that just looked like it could have been in The Conjuring. The same style of filming, the same visual effects, the same bullshit we've seen a hundred times over and over again. Oh, wow. That is going to be a terrible fucking movie. And look how jump scary that was. Oh, there's got nothing else. It can't build up a decent level of horror. It can only just go, rah, here's the loud noises. And here's somebody jumping out at you. It's the best it can fucking do. Sick of horror and it doing this. Uh, uh, it's really depressing to see that The Conjuring is going to be a fran is now a franchise. There's not even two Conjuring movies. Neither were particularly great. The first one, at least, you could argue had some air of originality about. But the second one, based off the, uh, the Enfield Haunting 
was uh, very lacklustre, especially when you compare it to the miniseries that was done a couple of years ago based on the Enfil haunting. And we've got this, the second Annabelle, and they're talking about universes, the Conjuring universes, which means they're not done. This is just part of a franchise. Fuck. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you thought that looked brilliant. Maybe you thought the first one was a great. I don't get it at all. I can't see the appeal in that. I can't believe we're still stuck in this horror cycle of paranormal jump scares. We've been in it for years. Somebody do something else. Not ask for something original because original and originality and horror is very difficult, difficult to come across. Every idea seems to have been done. But you can take these ideas and do a new spin on it. There's nothing new about that. It's the same crap we've been seeing for years. And... Yay, children. Children's getting scared. Oh, it's just been done to death. Haunted children. Kids being terrorised. We've seen it. And, to be honest, we probably saw the best scares of it. The best jump scare moments of it. In there. Like, in that trailer. That's how they work. It seems like it's given away too much as well. We can leave yourself some room to breathe when it comes to your movie. So there you go. That's my opinion. I hated it. I think that's going to be a terrible, terrible film. Will I watch it? Well, yeah, I'll watch it. Not in a fucking cinema, I ain't paying them for it. But I will watch it because I, <laughs> I'm a horror movie fan and I want to write a review about it. So I'll put myself through it and at the end be like, oh, either that was, I was wrong, which going off that trailer, I'm not wrong. Or, oh, wow, that was so much better than I expected. <laughs> I doubt that very much. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Of course, if you have, hit that subscribe button and make sure you pop over to the website, www.gbhbl.com. I've been a disc from Games, Brains and Headbanging Being Life. We write horror movie games, heavy metal and rock reviews. There's a lot of content over there, so make sure you check it out. See you next time.